movement tips and lifestyle hacks brought to you by FitLab PGH. Movement, a part of making your life complete. FitLab PGH is back with another movement tip and lifestyle hack. This one's for those of you who have large dogs, like to walk your dogs, run with your dogs, and realize after finishing a walk or a run that your shoulders are a little bit tired. I started out with a 55 pound lab that I had for 12 and a half years. She walked really well on a leash and I had no need to do anything other than to carry the leash in my hand when we walked, when we ran, when we hiked in the woods. Then I picked up another dog and all of a sudden I was noticing my shoulders were getting sore. And now what I have today is I have a 75 pound lab and I have a 65 pound lab. One of them wants to go that way, the other one wants to go that way when we walk, and I find that my shoulders really can't take that. So what I've realized is my core is a lot stronger than my shoulders are, and my legs and my butt are a lot stronger than my shoulders. So I kind of came up with my own hack with things I had lying around the house so that I could walk and run with my dogs and not end up with sore shoulders. First thing I did is I took a uh, belt from one of my backpacks. This was actually, uh, I don't really even know the brand, but you can find it in your local REI. You can find it in a local climbing store. You can find it in a local outdoor store. Probably going to cost you 25, 30 bucks, or you may have a nylon belt that you wear with your pants. That'll work. Then I picked up a carabiner and I picked up a climbing sling. So what I do is I put the belt on. Then I take the climbing sling, I clip it in with the belt, so we get a little motion going around, and I take the beaner and I put the ends of both dogs' leashes in that, and when we're running, they run pretty straight. If they want to tug, I can use my core to control it. If we come up with other people, or we come up upon other people where I need a little bit more control, I can grab the leashes with one hand or both hands, make them sit, make them come in a little bit closer. What this enables me to do is not only do I not have sore shoulders when I run or walk with my dogs, but if, I, if I'm going to run, I'm able to move my arms in a good motion when I run to help activate my glutes. This is another movement tip and lifestyle hack from FitLab PGH. Three times a week, FitLab PGH brings you a movement tip or lifestyle hack. Thanks to the Pilates Body for providing us a locale for filming.